Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering a new app that Apple introduced, which is Freeform. They did talk about it on one Apple event where they introduced it and told us basically what it's going to do. But now it came out in the beta of iPadOS 16.2 and iOS 16.2. So yeah, it's still in beta, but it will probably be announced or released to the public pretty soon. So I wanted to make a video for you guys to see exactly what you can expect from the app and all the features that it has. If you don't know what Freeform is, it's basically a tool that Apple is making for collaborative projects or just huge whiteboards or things like that there people can come together on one big board and create um, just a bunch of ideas and put things together on one big collaborative space so it's a really cool idea I really love the look of it so far so yeah we're gonna be taking a look at it and seeing exactly how it works so you can see Freeform on my iPad. This is the 12.9 inch M1 iPad Pro that I'm working on. Um, so yeah, we have Freeform here. This is what it looks like. I really like the iPad icon and everything. Um, and we're gonna go in and then you can see all your boards that you have. So I have a few here um, and um, I think it's unlimited. You can see all the old boards. You can see recents, you can see shared boards and favorites. So yeah, all of that is visible here when you go into the app. Um, but we're gonna go into this board right here um, and we're gonna to cover freeform and all of its tools so here at the top you will see all the tools that they have available at a glance so you have your apple pencil tools here then you have some sticky notes that you can add you have your shape tools you have text and then you have other media but we're going to get into that a little later first what i want to cover is all the ui that you have here within freeform so this is some of the ui elements that i want to cover so the first one is here at the top left as you can see it says freeform but that's just the name of my board you Usually it would probably say something like untitled or whatever you call your board um, and if you tap on it it will bring a drop down menu of different things so the first thing I want to cover is the share button so you can share to collab with other people so they can also edit and use the board collaboratively um, then we can also rename it duplicate the board favorite find then you can also click on hide grid now what this basically is is this just dot grid that we have here. This is really helpful if you're writing, just to make sure you're writing in a straight line or just, yeah, just overall it's pretty helpful. Um, but I think this will also be nice to hide it if you are finished with your entire board and you just wanna see an overall glance. It's way cleaner without the grid. Um, so yeah, that's also something you turn off or on. And then we have export as PDF and print. So that is all for that little section. Then here at the right again, we have another thing to share it. But when you click that the first time, it will probably tell you that it's not synced to iCloud or turn on iCloud in settings. Because if you don't do that, you can't share this with other people because it's not synced to your iCloud. So all you need to do to access that or do is to turn that on is go to settings, go to your iCloud, go to iCloud again, and go to show all. And then scroll down until you see Freeform and make sure that it's turned on. You can turn that on on all, all your devices that has Freeform. So I have it on my iPad and my iPhone. So just make sure it's synced um, and working. And then you have access to the share option to share your board with other people. So that is all for the UI. Then the last thing I want to cover is just the zoom. Like I said here at the bottom left. So your zoom is from 10% to 24%. So right now you can see mine is set to 135. If you tap on that, you will see some presets that you have. So I'm going to click on 10% and then it's going to zoom out all the way. So this is the most that you can be zoomed out on. As you can see, this is a pretty big board. And then I'm going to click on 400% and this is just the most that you can zoom out. Let's zoom into something a bit more exciting. So yeah, that is 400% zoomed in. Um, so that is how you can basically manage the zooming in and out and uh, how much you can zoom in and out. So really helpful. Um, and that is all there is for UI that I want to focus on. Now let's take a deeper look into each one of these tools and how they work. So the first I want to cover is the Apple Pencil tool. So let's go ahead to that section. So the Apple Pencil tools, if you don't know, it's something that you have in notes and actually all over your iPad. You have access to it. It's just this little toolbar here that pops up. Um, you can drag it around by using or dragging and holding on these three dots. And you can just drag it to wherever you want it to be on your screen. I usually just like it at the bottom. 
um, and then you have all your tools here so I'm gonna go to each tool so the first tool is this tool here that looks like a pen with an A on it so this is the handwriting to text tool or the scribble tool if you want to call it that and it's really helpful if you're already in Apple pencil mode and you just want to write something but want it to appear as text then all you need to do is select that tool write whatever you need to write so I'm just gonna write here text and then we will convert whatever I wrote to text and um, yeah it's not in handwriting or anything which is really helpful so that is the scribble tool then what we have next is just the pen tool so this is what that looks like it's just a plain old pen tool then we have the pencil tool which I really like so this is more um, textured as you can see within each one you have some settings that you can adjust then we have the crayon tool which looks like this is a bit more thick and textured um, then the paint tool is something that's kind of unique it's not in every app available uh, I think it's available in pages as well though so it's kind of a unique tool it's not just like a brush it kind of has this lasso look to it so if you don't know what lasso tool is it's just it creates this little outline as you can see this um, little weird outline um, and then it will make a bunch of weird shapes that you can outline with the pen tool. It's very really interesting, I don't know how I feel about it, but um, yeah, that is what the paint, paint tool looks like. Then we have our eraser tool here, so that is that. You can also go ahead and click on the eraser and choose object or pixel eraser. So pixel eraser just adjusts or erases a part of it where object eraser erases the entire object like that. So you can adjust that as well. And then lastly, what we have here is the lasso tool. So what that does is you basically just select anything and you can move it around and just resize it, duplicate it, things like that. You can go ahead and edit that if you're liking. Um, so yeah, that is the lasso tool. And then lastly, what I want to cover is the colors. So here you can see we have our five standard colors that we always have. And then you have this little rainbow little circle where you can go ahead and find more colors. You can go to the spectrum. You can go ahead and see hex colors, codes, and things like that to be more precise. Or you can use the um, eyedropper tool and you can just go ahead and pick up a color anywhere on an image or something. Um, so yeah, all that is really helpful for finding your colors that you want with the Apple Pencil tools. So that's all for the Apple Pencil tools. Now let's move on to the sticky notes. So this is just this section right here. Sticky notes are pretty plain and self-explanatory. You just tap on it and we'll take and bring up a sticky note here. Then you can go ahead and resize it a bit if you want to and you can just tap on it and then you will see some options come up so the first option here is just the color so you can change the color easily then you can double tap on it to add some text so i'm just going to write here sticky note um, like that and if you tap on it again you can adjust some of your text or just the size and whether it's set to bold or not underline it things like that you can adjust here um, within each sticky note um, and then you just have some options here as well. You can save the style and everything, duplicate, all that um, for that. So that is how the sticky notes work. It's pretty self-explanatory and easy to use. The next tool I want to cover is the shapes tool. So the shapes tool here is one of my favorite tools just because of all the capabilities that it has. So let's go to the shapes tool here at the top. And here you can see you have different categories of shapes. So the first one is just basic shapes. Then you have geometry, objects animals, nature, they have a few, I'm gonna go through all of them, but yeah, they have a few categories and things that you can go ahead and use. And these are all just really helpful things to add to your project. Um, yeah, I just, I really like this. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and add in a basic shape so that I can share with you guys just more of the customization of the shapes. So I'm gonna go with this one right here. Um, and first thing I wanna cover is changing the color, which is basics. So tap on it and then it will bring up these options. Then you can go in and go ahead and just change the color. You can add some more colors. So let's change it to that. Um, and then you can also add a stroke around it if you want to, which is the second option. You can choose the type of stroke that you want and the thickness of these strokes. Um, so you can go ahead and adjust that. Um, and you can also change the color of the stroke if you want to. Um, so that's also really helpful. And what you can also do is if you have a stroke on your design, um, you, what you can do is you can go to your fill and click on no fill and then this is what it will look like. Then it will just have your stroke, um, which is really nice if you just want to outline something or something like that. Really helpful. 
What you can also do with the shapes is double tap on it and then it will bring up some text options. So you can also add text to your little graphics and then adjust the font and colors and everything of it. So yeah, that's also something you can do with the shapes that you have. And then something that's really helpful that you can do for especially graphics like this, which has a few more going things going on, you can go ahead and click on these three dots and click on break apart. So if you tap on that, then it will break it apart into different sections. So then each little section you can go ahead and edit to your liking to make it more colorful and just um, break some of the parts apart so that it's more um, differentiated little different parts of the design. Um, so I really like this option also and it's just really helpful to add in some more color. Also some graphics that just has a lot more going on. You can go ahead and just change the color of the different sections, which I think is really helpful. So yeah, you can go ahead and edit that to your liking and change colors when using the breaking apart feature. Oh, I almost forgot to mention with the shape here, you have this little um, little um, green dot here that is to adjust the curvature of the edges so you can make it more round or not so that's also something you can adjust next thing I want to cover is text so this is the text tool very very basic you tap on it and it brings up your text you double tap and then you can go ahead and enter your text so let's just type in typing text then what you can do is you can click on it to adjust the color here. So again, like any other one of the ones that we just covered, you just change the color. Then you can go ahead and adjust the font by clicking there, making it bold, italic, adjusting the spacing. Or you can click on this AA to see even more fonts that you can go ahead and choose from um, that are on, installed on your device already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select one. Um, then what you can also do is you can tap on your text, click on these three dots and click on style and you can copy the style or save as insert style. So this is really helpful if you want a certain look to all your text on your board. You can just save an insert style and then that way every time you tap on this, it will insert the text to look exactly that style. So this is the style that I set for my board. Um, so you can adjust that and save that or just copy and paste some styles in between some different texts styles. So that's really helpful. You also have these little dots on the um, outline of your text. So the blue dots are just to make the um, box bigger or smaller. Um, but as you can see, if I scrunch it all together, it kind of makes it look this weird like way. So what you can do to adjust it all um, one size is using the green dot here holding down on that and then it will just uniformly change the size of your text and everything without distorting it that much so that's also really helpful something that you can do so that's everything for the text tool it's really self-explanatory and basic to use and then the last tool i want to cover is the other media section so here we can add a few things so we're just going to tap on it and then it brings up a menu of everything you can insert so the first thing we have here is photos or videos so let's just go ahead and insert some so here you can see I just have this little graphic um, and by default it has this kind of curved edges and a shadow around it. You can change that by tapping on it, clicking on the three dots and adjusting shadow or um, round corners. So you can go ahead and adjust that. I just, I like the look of it with that. So I'm just gonna keep that on. Um, and then when you have your image here, you have some other options here. So clicking on this image, you can see the name of the design, you can see the size or you can replace it. You can even crop your image. So you can go to there. And this little eye tool makes it visible in full screen like that. So you can go ahead and view something in full screen as well, which is really nice. Um, so let's go ahead and add in another image. So I have this image here as well. Now say I want this image to be behind this image. All I need to do is tap on it, click on the three dots and just send to back and then it will just rearrange it so that one is at the back, which is really helpful. Um, and then what you can also add is just from camera, you can just take a photo and directly import it. You can scan in a document also. You can even add in a link. So I'm just gonna click on that and let's paste in a link, click on insert. Um, and then this is what it looks like. It also has this rounded corner effect and you can also just arrange it to anywhere you want. You can tap on it and see you can change the link. Um, you can go ahead and view it. So that will take you to the website and retries. I'm pretty sure if the link doesn't work, that's a good option for that. 
And then the three dots, you also have some other options here again to constrain proportions or not, things like that. So yeah, that is how you add in a link. And then you can also go ahead and insert from and insert any PDF that you want. So I can just go ahead and import something from files and then just add that here. You can even add in some PDFs and things like that. Um, and yeah, it just it's really cool that you can just add in anything you want from anywhere on your tablet and then just add it into your board. That's really helpful, especially if you have a bunch of things that you want to reference on your board. Anything can be added on here. So yeah, I believe that is Freeform. That's everything there is to it and all the tools that I wanted to cover for you guys. Now what I wanna cover is sharing on Freeform. So let's just see what you'll be able to see from my phone. So I did share it via just iMessage. I just shared it um, and then I just opened it up on my phone. So let's just draw something or write something. So I'm just gonna write here, test. Um, and let's see what happens. There you can see on my phone, it did write it pretty, um, pretty quickly. So let's just draw something. Yes, it's working pretty well. When I tested it earlier, it was a bit more um, slow. I just think it's because it's still also in beta. So yeah, there are a bunch of things that could influence how fast this is. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I can also write on my phone. So let's go ahead and write something. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly make a scribble. I'm just going to do that. And then, yeah, it shows up on the iPad really quickly. Um, but like I said, if you are doing this with someone else, I believe their drawing will have a little block around it that will show who is currently writing it and things like that. So that's really cool. Oh wait, I got it to work. So if I draw something here, as you can see, it has this outline, this box outline, and it shows the, um, person that is drawing on it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so in my, on my iPad, if I tap on this circle, it will go on my phone and show whoever is interacting with that thing and a little icon for that person. So I'm glad I got that to work to show you guys what it looks like. Um, and also you'll see here the collaboration section here at the top. You'll have these little things here that um, show you message, audio or video so that you can quickly interact with each other over say a video call and talk about whatever is going on in your board. The board will kind of be the backdrop of the video call so you can go ahead and talk about whatever is going on and conference over your board, so which is really cool. So yeah, that is Freeform. That is everything that I wanted to cover for you guys on Freeform and how it works and all the tools that are available. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm as excited as I am about this new app and just how it's gonna work and just the full release. I'm really excited to see how it works. So yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other videos like this and click on the video to see one of my previously uploaded videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.